Hello friend, today we are going to download and install Android Studio in Windows. For that you have to just open your browser and first of all you have to download and install JDK. Let's first download JDK and install it and after that we download Android Studio. Ok. And search for JDK, JDK 8 download and hit enter and after that just click on java download okay now after that just scroll down it will first show you version of jdk <coughs> and just scroll down a little bit you can you can find jdk 8 and after that just select your machine Windows or if you have Mac just select Mac if you have Linux just select Linux and after that select your installer 64 bit or 86 bit I just download this JDK click here and it will show you this type of message just receive and after that just click on download it required your ID to log in of if you don't have oracle id then you have to create an id it is simple just to follow the step it uh, asking you the some question and just fill the question answer and your oracle id is created after that just log in with this page and your jdk is installed in your machine and after installing just click on explorer and find your jdk where it is installed you can see this windows is appear of login if you don't need have any oracle id just create one if you have just fill the email id and password and it is inst start downloading in your machine and after that just find your JDK where it is installed and just double click on it and click on yes and after that it will start installing ok ok this type of pop up is appear just click on next just click next and it start installing in your machine it takes some time P have some patience it will start installing your machine okay after installation of jdk just come to c drive and find program file and after that just click on java and after clicking java just click on jdk and then bin and after that just copy the path of this and then just close it and after that just search system system environment variable and just open it and after opening just click on environment variable and here just find path and click double click on it and just click new and here paste the path click on ok and after that just click on new click on new and just give name as java java underscore home and then just paste the same path and remove bin ok and after that just click on ok and click on ok click on ok now just open cmd command prompt hit enter after opening command prompt just search java hyphen version and hit enter it will show you this type of version detail and all the detail now your java is successfully installed in your machine find some problem just comment and i will answer you in comment box now after downloading and installing jdk 
Now let's download Android Studio. First of all, we search Android, Android Studio, download and hit enter. And after that, go to the first link. After that, just click on download and accept the term and condition. Okay, now let's download. Now after download, just click show in folder. And after that, I just minimize this and just double click on it. Now click on yes. After that, click on next. Just click on next. If you want to change this location, you can just browse and change the location. I keep as it is and clicking next. And after that, I want the desktop. I want the desktop shortcut. That's why I am not clicking here. Okay. Now I install this. It will take some time. Just wait. After completing installation, click on next and click on finish it will load your android studio after finishing okay if you already install and delete and reinstall android studio then you can just uh, import your previous directory otherwise do not import setting and click on ok and after that it takes some time If you want to send the feedback, just use this one and I just click on don't send and click on next. And after that, if you want to install in C drive, just go for a standard one. And if you want some customization, click on custom. I just click next. And after that, I just choose the Dracula theme and clicking next. And after that, just click on next and after that just accept the license and here to accept the license okay now now after accepting the condition just click on finish i wanted to give you some advice when you want to install Android Studio, make sure you having unlimited internet and maximum speed is up to 5 to 10 Mbps so that it is easily installed in your machine and it asks you some permission just allow and now our all download component is completed. I click on finished and after that it load in our machine and if you want to create a new project just click here and after that choose the layout which layout you want to create if you want to OS watches click here if you want app for Android just click here if you want automotive then click here I just use phone and tablet and after that I click on basic and after you can cl click on any okay now after that i click next because we download java that's why i choose java you can also code with codling okay now after that you have to choose the android version for example here we have latest version okay and if you want to want a maximum number of user just check for lollipop or version which is 99.8 percent of devices can run this application if after that click on finish it takes some time okay now after that click on finish it will load our project okay now it will loading our project Okay, it takes some time first time, just wait.
it will download Gradle, it will download packages, it will download the necessary necessary tools for you. So it take much much more time. Just have patience and follow the process. You will successfully install the Android Studio. Okay. Our project is successfully loaded in our machine. You can see here we have Java and here we have first fragment, main and this type of thing. Okay. Now we have Gradle also to build and run. Now I run this project with the help of my Android phone. Okay. Now just click on run. So I run my first Android Studio project in my phone and you can also do the you can install the virtual device or you can just use your mobile phone to do that for that first you need to open your developer mode of your phone and after that click on the usb debugging setting and after that you can just run the app in your mobile phone okay so that's it for today's video if you like this video please subscribe my channel share with your friend and bye-bye.